Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are on part two of ta of a tower defense game. So let's continue. So this is where we left off code, and I will show you the gameplay. So let's see the enemies basically moving around. And in today's video. You, I would love to show you how to place the towers and make the towers point to the closest enemy. So let's make it. Start first. Now, we'll make new sprites. We'll call, we'll make a simple bow. Okay. Talk. And I would love to draw oops, a line. Hold down shift to make a perfect line. I think we need a better line. Big one. Take twenty. Make it taller. Too tall. Um, oh. Okay, I'll take this. We'll use the reshape tool to make a curly bow. Okay. So that's done. Now we'll make the string little grey. And we'll make the string eight. Takes time. And hold down shift. Place it right here. We'll put backward. Every front. Okay, so this is our bow. Pretty nice bow. And I would love to add an animation. So, we'll use the reshape tool here. And just make a simple. And yeah, there you go. That's it. So, we'll name this one. Row one, this one, row two. Now, of course, when green flag click, you'll simply put in a forever. You'll go to mouse pointer. You will go to the front layer. We will set cost effect to 50. Now we can see it's nice. Now we'll put in an if else block, and I forgot to make another costume. I want to duplicate this, row 3, which is A red color bow, 
will make it like it's not allowed to place it there. And here we'll switch costume to control one. So if you all touching color brown the path. I'll go to this line real quick and I'll take this touching bow this is a nice trick so we'll put it there and in the bow if touching color brown or touching bow we will wait we will switch costume to bow tree else if mouse down and will create clone of myself we will wait until not mouse down actually I will change this Make another block, we'll call this place tower. Run without screen first. It's okay. We'll place tower there. Find place tower. We'll create clone of self. Wait until not bounce down. Place tower. And actually, we'll clear graphic effects. Here. Now let's test it. Okay, this is just what we want. Bows everywhere. But now we'll make the bow to point to the to the first enemy. Now in the enemies, we'll make what a bunch of variables. Delete this one. We'll make a variable called enemy distance. For this by only enemy front all sprite and actually closest enemy X all sprite. And closest enemy Y for sprite. Now, here we'll put in a change enemy distance by speed. We'll make another block. We'll call it closest enemy. And without screen refresh, we'll put it down here. Define closest enemy. If if so if enemy distance is more than enemy front or equal sign enemy distance equals enemy front and we will set enemy front to enemy distance and at the beginning we'll actually set enemy front to zero And then we'll set closest enemy at zero. Actually, we'll set closest enemy x to x position. To get that, we'll set closest enemy y to y position. Now that's clear. The enemy is done. Now we'll go to bow. 
So to find place place tower, create clone myself. When I start as a clone, and here I'll actually put in show. So when I start as a clone, we will put in a forever loop. I will put in here point one dot frame refresh. Okay, when I start to clone forever point define point, I'll put in an if closest any x is more than x position. Actually, we'll put in anything else. If closest enemy x more than x position, we'll point in direction. Follow me here. Put in point in direction 90. Take away. Um, take away a tan of divide a tan of closest enemy y take away y position divided by Closest enemy Y, take away Y position, divided by um, closest enemy X, take away X position, put it there, we'll duplicate that, put in direction negative 90 here, so repeat me. Point and direction 90 take away by a turn of closest enemy y take away y position divided by closest enemy x take away x position and the same for the opposite. So now let's test it. See what happens. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And in the next part, we will make the enemy shooting. So, let's see. Oh, I actually forgot. For the enemies, in the exposition here, we'll put in a set enemy front to zero. Let's test that again. Okay, so place a million of the bows. Okay, we'll wait until the enemy goes here. And when it does end. Okay, so that's what you want. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next part of this epic power defense game. Bye!